Why is it that we often desire what we're told we cannot have? It's a question that has puzzled philosophers, psychologists, and everyday individuals alike. This paradox, this allure of the forbidden, is a compelling aspect of human nature, and one that is clearly demonstrated in the history of smoking. Think about it. We're living in an age of information where the harmful effects of smoking are not only widely known, but also explicitly stated on every pack of cigarettes. Yet despite these stark warnings, smoking remains a widespread habit. So what draws people to this seemingly self-destructive behavior? First, let's consider the element of rebellion. There's a certain thrill that comes from defying societal norms or expectations. For some, smoking is a symbol of this defiance, a way of asserting independence and individuality. It's a little like a teenager ignoring their parents' advice, just to prove they can make their own decisions. Then there's the aspect of desire and longing, the yearning for what we're told we can't have. This has been a part of human nature since time immemorial. From the biblical story of Adam and Eve to contemporary tales of forbidden love, we're drawn to the forbidden like moths to a flame. In the case of smoking, the more we're told it's bad for us, the more appealing it becomes. Finally, we come to the influence of culture and history. For centuries, smoking has been intertwined with societal norms and customs. It has been seen as a mark of sophistication, a symbol of status, and even a tool for relaxation during times of stress. These historical justifications have played a significant role in making smoking a pervasive habit, despite its known health risks. The story of smoking is a tale of this paradox interwoven with history, culture, and psychology. It's a narrative that highlights our complex relationship with the forbidden, a relationship that continues to shape our behaviors and choices, even in the face of potential harm. Our journey begins in the New World, the birthplace of the tobacco plant. Long before the arrival of Europeans, the indigenous people of the Americas had a deep-rooted relationship with tobacco. Native Americans saw this plant as more than just a crop. It had a spiritual significance, used in various medicinal and ceremonial practices. They believed that tobacco had the power to cure ailments, communicate with the spirit world, and even predict the future. However, the way they used tobacco was a far cry from what we associate with smoking today. Instead of lighting up a manufactured stick filled with dried, crushed leaves, they would smoke tobacco in pipes, or even use it in powdered or liquid forms. The European explorers who arrived in the Americas in the 15th century were fascinated by the indigenous people's use of tobacco. These explorers, men like Christopher Columbus and Sir Walter Raleigh, witnessed firsthand the plant's prominence in Native American culture. Intrigued by its use and potential benefits, they decided to introduce this plant to Europe, Tobacco was greeted with mixed reactions in the old world. Some saw it as a panacea, a cure-all for various ailments while others viewed it with suspicion, even going as far as calling it the devil's weed. Despite the controversy, tobacco use began to spread across Europe. It was smoked in pipes, snuffed, and eventually rolled into crude versions of what we now know as cigarettes. The popularity of tobacco grew rapidly, with its cultivation becoming a major economic driver in the colonies. This led to the establishment of large plantations, often worked by enslaved people, a dark chapter in the history of tobacco that cannot be ignored. As explorers returned home, they brought with them this new discovery, and so began tobacco's journey into the old world. This marked the beginning of a global fascination with smoking, a habit that, over the centuries, has evolved and adapted to fit the social, cultural, and economic contexts of different eras and regions. Despite the known health risks associated with smoking, the legacy of tobacco continues to be a complex and controversial part of our shared history. As tobacco traveled, it took on different roles in different societies. In Europe, for example, it quickly became a symbol of the upper classes. Picture this, the aristocrats of the 17th century, holding their ornate tobacco pipes, puffing away as they engaged in intellectual discourse. Tobacco was seen as a luxury, a sign of sophistication and wealth, and it wasn't long until it seeped into the fabric of society, becoming part of their customs and traditions. However, the story of smoking took a different turn during times of war. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, soldiers found solace in the calming effects of tobacco. On the battlefields, in the trenches, under the open sky, a cigarette was more than just a pastime. It was a moment of peace, a brief escape from the harsh realities of war. In the East, the narrative of smoking was painted with a different brush, here it became a national or even cinematic symbol. From the smoky opium dens of China to the silver screens of Bollywood, smoking was portrayed as an act of rebellion, of breaking free from societal norms. 
It was seen as cool, even glamorous, and this perception was only amplified by the depiction of smoking in popular culture. And then there's the feminist liberation movement. In the early 20th century, smoking was seen as a defiant act for women, a way to challenge societal norms and assert their independence. The image of a woman lighting up a cigarette was a powerful symbol of emancipation, forever linking the act of smoking with the fight for gender equality. Each era, each culture added a new chapter to the history of smoking, from the upper echelons of European society to the war-torn corners of the world, from the bustling streets of the East to the feminist movements of the West, tobacco has weaved its way through the tapestry of our history, leaving behind a trail of smoke that continues to shape societies around the world. In the modern era, smoking took on a new role, a symbol of feminist liberation. This was a time when societal norms were being questioned and challenged. Women, in their struggle for equality, adopted smoking as a form of rebellion against the established order. This new association of smoking with liberation and empowerment gave the tobacco industry another avenue to exploit. The cigarette became a symbol of independence, a tool of defiance. It was a statement that said, I am a woman and I have the right to make my own choices, even if those choices involve a stick of tobacco. This was a significant shift in the narrative of smoking. The cigarette was no longer just a means of relaxation or a symbol of status. It was now a symbol of feminist liberation. However, while smoking was being embraced as a sign of liberation, the dark side of this habit was becoming increasingly evident. As the 20th century advanced, science began to uncover the harmful effects of smoking. The romanticized image of the sophisticated smoker was gradually being replaced by the grim reality of lung cancer, heart disease, and a host of other health problems. In response to this growing awareness, governments around the world introduced legislation requiring warning labels on cigarette packs. For the first time, the deadly nature of smoking was being acknowledged on the very product that was causing it. These warnings, often accompanied by graphic images of diseased lungs or damaged hearts, were a stark contrast to the glamorous image of smoking that had been cultivated for centuries. Yet, despite these warnings, the allure of the cigarette persisted. The habit of smoking, ingrained in our culture and society over centuries, proved hard to break. The cigarette, once a symbol of status and sophistication, then a symbol of feminist liberation, had now become a symbol of defiance against the very warnings that accompanied it. The modern era of smoking is a testament to the complex history and symbolism of the cigarette. It's a story of allure and rebellion, of liberation and defiance, and of a habit that continues despite the clear and present dangers it presents. Despite the warnings, smoking remains a common habit, a testament to its complex history and symbolism. As we look back at the history of smoking, we see a story of human nature and societal change. From the New World's indigenous peoples, who discovered its calming effects and ritualistic significance, to the European explorers who brought tobacco back as a novelty, the history of smoking is a tale of intrigue and transformation. It's a journey that has seen tobacco transform from a symbol of upper-class sophistication to a common soldier's solace during war, to a tool of feminist liberation and cinematic allure. But this journey hasn't been without its dark side. Smoking has also been a story of deception and denial, as the harmful effects of tobacco consumption were initially downplayed, and then finally revealed in stark, medically illustrated warnings. Yet, ironically, these warnings have not deterred a significant portion of the global population from partaking in the habit. This brings us to the paradox of human nature. Why do we crave what is forbidden? Why do we buy a product that we are told not to buy? Perhaps it's the allure of the forbidden, the thrill of defying authority, or the comfort found in a familiar ritual. Or maybe it's a combination of all these elements, wrapped up in a tightly rolled package of tobacco leaves. But as we examine the history of smoking, we also see a story of change. Societies have evolved in their relationship with smoking, moving from acceptance to condemnation, from ignorance to awareness. This evolution reflects our growing understanding of health and well-being, our increasing respect for individual choices, and our capacity for change. So, as we delve into the complex history of smoking, we are also delving into the complexities of human nature and societal change. We're exploring our collective past, understanding our present and contemplating our potential future. The history of smoking is a mirror reflecting our desires, our fears and our capacity for change. So, what does your reflection say?